Alright guys, welcome to the Bench LFC. In today's video we're going to be talking about a bid put in by Liverpool for Thomas Lamar at Monaco. Also, Origi looks like he may be going to one of our rivals in the Premier League, but we'll talk more about that in the video, so stay tuned. Alright guys, how are you all doing? Obviously, Hopefully you guys are having a wicked bank holiday weekend. Liverpool smashing Arsenal 4-0. What a result. If you haven't watched my match reaction video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Go and check that one out, guys. It's worth a watch in my opinion. But but yeah, make sure to check that one out. And quickly, massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel so far. It means a lot, guys. I'm well on my way to reaching 100 subscribers, which was a target that I set myself for six months. And I've been doing this for a few weeks now, and I'm already nearly there. So... Anyone that hasn't subscribed yet, please subscribe guys. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I'll update you as soon as things come out. And um, yeah, just hit the subscribe button below guys. Just So, let's get started. Thomas Lamar, Monaco. Been linked with a few Premier League clubs and apparently a lot of clubs all around the world are monitoring the situation. He's a huge star, he's young, he's got a massive future ahead of him. And if Liverpool managed to get this player in, then we'd be pipping the other teams and it would be a really good signing for Liverpool. So quickly, before I go in depth about it, I want to say that currently this bid has got nothing to do with Coutinho leaving or staying. But personally, I think that Liverpool are trying to get him because they know that Coutinho is going to go to Barcelona. That's my views, guys. Haven't seen anything about that, but obviously... Barcelona have apparently been given a deadline by Liverpool of Monday, which is today, to sign Philip Coutinho. And apparently Barcelona have representatives in Liverpool today to wrap that deal up. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. Remember to subscribe. I will keep you updated. Um, I think later today we'll hear more about whether Coutinho is going or staying. So yeah, the fee is apparently within the region of 55.5 million and with add-ons adding up to an extra 10 million. I don't know whether this will be enough to really make Monaco sell him. Obviously, they've lost a lot of their star players from last season. Man City have bought and other clubs have bought. Chelsea have bought of them. And it looks like Mbappe is on his way out to PSG as well, which, by the way, like, where the fuck is FIFA fair play if, they're, if they've signed Neymar and now they're signing Mbappe? Anyway, I don't know. It's ridiculous, but, but yeah, whatever. Um, so, I'm a bit... Concerned that Monaco are not going to want to let him leave in this transfer window. Arsene Wenger said that that deal would definitely not happen when Arsenal was in for him and that it was dead. Is that just Arsene Wenger saying that because Arsenal can't afford to buy the player at the moment? Don't really know on that one, guys. However, Liverpool apparently officially have approached Monaco over the availability of him. And Liverpool haven't really spent massively yet and we know that there was apparently funds there. So Liverpool have got the money to really tempt Monaco. I think that if we really want this player, we can get him. Obviously, Monaco have sold a lot of their star players already, so if we go in with a good feed, guys, I can't see them turning us down. What do you guys think on it? Would you like to see Lamar come to us? I think it's a no-brainer, really. I think Lamar is a quality player, and with Marne and Salah, if we get an injury to one of them, then that will take away some of our attacking us. You saw last year that when we lost Marne, obviously we struggled because we didn't have that pace. And that's apparently why we bought in Salah. But really, if you had someone like Lamar as well, then, then yeah, that just covers you on all fronts really there. Lamar is a skillful player. He did really well last year for Monaco. Apparently, he can play left wing, right wing and midfield. So, so he would be a good acquisition in that sense that he can be very versatile. I think if we was playing Mane and Salah up top, then maybe you'd see Lamar drop back into the midfield role. Don't know, let me know what you guys think on that. Do you think he's just going to be like a super sub? But if we're going in with a big amount of money, then I don't think he's going to be a sub, guys. I think he would be going into starting eleven. But the game against Arsenal proved that already we have quality, a quality team. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel, guys. I'll keep you updated on that. Subscribe if you haven't. and I'll let you know as soon as I know anything further on that. Um, Origi, apparently Tottenham uh, inquiring on the availability of Origi. I don't really want to see Origi go to Tottenham, guys. Personally, if we're in for Lamar, then I don't see why Liverpool don't try and send Origi to Monaco as part of the deal for him. 
Apparently Monaco was interested in Origi as a replacement to Mbappe and I think it'd do really well if he went to Monaco. So I don't really want to see him go to a rival because I've said before that he hasn't he hasn't really impressed too much when he's had his chances, but he's one of them players that he'd leave Liverpool and if he goes to Tottenham, no doubt he'd end up doing really well. Um, yeah, I just don't want to see any of our players end up going to a rival club. I'd prefer to see him go abroad. Um, don't know... How true that one is yet, guys, but I'll keep you updated on that one as well. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think it would be quite handy if Liverpool did try and add Origi to the deal to get Lamar from Monaco? I, I think we should try it. Maybe they are trying it. Who knows? I don't know. If Mbappe goes to PSG, which is looking likely, then they're going to be looking for a striker. And if they lose Lamar as well, Origi, you know, can play as a striker or a winger. So I think that would be good to try and tempt them with that one. But... Lastly, I just want to update you quickly on Simon Mignolet. Klopp has come out and said that he's a 100% first team starter. He was just resting him. Mignolet's apparently a beast, is what Klopp said. So, yeah, I told you guys, I didn't think that there was any truth to the rumours that Mignolet was going to be sold. I think, I don't know whether it was true that he was just being rested or whether there was something going on really there, but... But obviously, it's good to know that Mignolet is not going anywhere because if anyone was to be sold, then I think Carrius should be the one that should be sold. I think Mignolet is a touch better than Carrius at the moment, in my opinion. So, don't know where the future lies with our goalkeepers, but I will keep you updated on anything if I see anything come out. So yeah, as always guys, leave a thumbs up on the video if you've liked it. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest transfer news. And I'm out.